hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is Sam. Uh, in this video i'm going to share with you guys this particular uh, news it was on punch news that i read this uh, news of uh, adeboye saying that uh, those that do not win souls will not make it to heaven let me actually say exactly how it is on a uh, punch news and then i told him he was not going anywhere i said if he fails to win souls to god's kingdom he may not enter heaven he was shocked. Eventually, he sprang into action, asked me to accompany him to some of his friends. No heaven for non-soul winners, says Adeboye. I'm going to read you guys a lot of comments. I actually saw a lot of my subscribers there leaving comments as well. I'm going to read these comments and I really want you guys to patiently listen to these comments, right? So this comment says, it sounds funny to hear that man wins souls. No man can do that but God Almighty himself. We are to preach and witness to the people. It is like for God to man our audience. Um, I think he means to say to make our audience. It is left for God to make our audience um, hear and believe unto salvation. And this one says, soul winning equals um, migration. The modern church is just full of members, members migrating from one place to another let's be honest a lot of people in nigeria are already church people let me put it like that you hardly find a household where they don't go to church or else there may be muslims so in most cases let's be honest this person is is making a lot of sense that is basically go and convert other good church members to our church members that's why you see a lot of preachers that they go to a community and they are preaching they tell you to come to their church you rarely hear them say find a church where god is being worshipped and go there in the time of the apostles they said they say church the church in lagos the church in uh, benin the church in it was a ch it was not branches here i've shown video pictures here where one building had how many different denominations in one about seven churches in one building and we're calling the same god and quoting the same bible you understand so you see that it has become a business when you see that building basically, basically what you're seeing is a building with different businesses it's normal for a building to have several businesses, but for a building to have different churches preaching the same Bible, why can't they all be one? Okay, let me just read comments. And this one says, is there a difference between soul winning and church marketing? It says the focus of soul winning is the reconciliation of man to God and careless about where they worship afterwards, right? And the focus on church marketing is on numeric growth to generate more income from tithes and offerings. Jesus never collected tithes and offerings from sinners to reconcile them to God. And then he says, our CCG plants churches just to grow income. Another one says, soul winning in Nigeria is about snatching other Christians from other denominations to bring them to your church. Even if you tell our CCG <laughs> winners, our CCG winners, MFM, Christ Embassy, that you are already a Christian, they will still say you need to come to their shrines before you are saved. Soul winning is truly by your lifestyle. People will listen and follow you when they see the kind of life you are living and the positive impact you are doing in the society. Self-righteous and too much religion will never attract a person that truly wants to repent. When the absence of the Holy Spirit is obvious, in some churches they go their way to get people to come to uh, to church diabolically finally soul winning is the job of the holy spirit not humans um, and he wrote another one and says so where is the place of salvation in redemption it is all about money and nothing else they are losing more and more money from tithes and offerings because people are now seeing the fraud of these churches Keep quoting Proverbs and Malachi out of context. Uh, he wrote another one and said, It seems Malachi is no more working for the criminal Adeboe and his 40 thieves. And this one says, Bandit don't drop out. <laughs> and this one says, but, excuse me, okay. And this one says, Bandit don't drop threat. This one says, I am no heaven for any daddy G.O. who is collecting money from politicians to deceive their followers. No heaven for anyone who cannot speak out against injustice and crime against uh, um, uh, humanity. And this one says, you pastors goes to Asso Rock to see the president. Yet yeah, none of you have win him to Christ. Or is Buhari not a soul to be won to church? And this one says, the custodians of heaven's gates have spoken. And this one says, say, uh, so says heaven's gatekeeper. 
And this was a, how many souls did the thief on the cross win? Abi, he didn't make heaven. And this was it. It's only God that can decide the faith of any man. Mind you, I am not against soul winning. But if I may ask, how many souls did the thief on the cross win? Because Bible told us he made it to heaven. And this one says, if men were God, heaven would only be to get 100 million nomination form. And this one says, are they, are they really winning souls to God or they are winning new members? Another one says, soul winning is not same as gathering people to pay for your private jets. Only God decides who makes heaven and who would make. And this I prefer to know the God of man uh, than knowing the man of God. It's supposed to be between me and my God. I don't need a me uh, mediator. All I need is a, is Bible, the Word of God in, uh, in bracket, and the divine revelation from the Holy Spirit for understanding of the words of God. I don't have any spiritual father. I don't, and I don't need any. Only myself and my God alone. Pastors won't tell you this. Another one says, if development comes from prayer and fasting, Africa will be the most developed nations. You know, like I said, I just want to read comments. When I see comments that are, I feel like they've said a lot or they said enough, I just feel like there's no point in me just saying anything. Let me just read the comments and, you know, to you guys. This one says, when you preach relentlessly and no soul is one, who's to blame? Because you see, he didn't even say, if you didn't preach because preaching and winning are two different things i really hope it's making sense because you can't really force people to become christians the one you have control over is speaking to people you don't have control over whether they will accept and the souls will be one or not you don't have control of, over that and this is it when you preach relentlessly and no soul is one who's to blame me think our duty as believers is to reach out to the lost it is the duty of the holy spirit to convict sinners of their sin and this one says ha have said it before and i'll say it again religious jingoism has really affected us in this country despite our prayers the rate by which poverty is trending is nothing to write home about we need to wake up from this unscrupulous uh, de uh delirium and this one says so if you stay away from sin and live a righteous life but didn't win any soul fire awaits you wow um, edit most of those who Thought they won souls, actually won church members. Winning someone over to your church isn't soul winning. And this one says, says the man that once said about eight to ten years ago, only twenty people will make it to heaven at the redeemed conference. Did he really say that? I don't know. If any of you know if he really said that, you can leave comments. And this one says, very soon he will be giving heaven tickets to his church members and this was says winning souls in my country is meeting another christian convincing them to leave their original place of worship to become a member in their church they will tell you that your church is not bible believing church come to the others who are the originator and author of the bible so like i said there's so much in those comments i don't think i want to make this video longer than that but let me actually address this there were people that were leaving comments and said hey, you're quoting them out of contest they quoted them out of contest and all of that but my problem with people that leave comments like that sometimes i get comments like that in my comment section you see when there is an open platform everybody is sharing their opinion or saying how they feel about something coming to say you're quoting somebody out of context is not the right way to to address it if you say somebody is quoted out of context then why don't you play that role of actually correcting the whole thing and putting it in the context you're claiming that they misquoted I always get that people say you're quoting somebody out of context and they would never actually produce the so-called the real context of the thing i don't know why but i feel like that's another way people like to you know discredit a story that is out there i'm saying it now if there's ever any conversation going on even in my comment section and you say that you know because i don't i haven't seen the video where the preaching was done and it's in the news punch news is a reputable newspaper in nigeria so punch news has existed before some people were born so they are not uh, they didn't start today you understand so but i didn't see the video where he said it but if somebody is going to say he's quoted out of context the least you can do is provide a link and say this is the video let people actually go and check it for themselves or then correct the so-called contest so that people could okay yo this is what it is. they never a lot of people always do that but they never tell you okay this is actually what it was said this was actually what was said to actually prove that that person was quoted out of context so at the end of the day i think it's another video like i said i'm not going to say much in it but what i see is nigerians are no longer at that generation of 
you don't question you don't speak up you know idolizing pastor as if he's a god that people cannot say no that way you talk no correct i've made a video here where i showed that, that where the, uh, the, the, the there'll be separation of the goats from the sheep and then he will say you uh, when i was hungry you didn't feed me when i was naked you didn't clothe me when i was this thirsty you didn't give me something to drink and all of that and he said that those that did he will say welcome into my kingdom it is though that didn't do that you know there are bible verses if a pastor wants to say something he can show you from the bible you know where he's coming from unfortunately a lot of them have been lifted higher than even god himself that they are beginning to basically rewrite the bible they and when i say this is when they say stuff without even bothering to show you biblical backup for what they are saying because they feel that a lot of them now feel that powerful that they can tell you something and they expect people to accept it you know you know this same pastor Adebo, he made a video in which he said that those that do not pay tithe will not go to heaven and i said but the bible didn't say that that was Adebo he saying that let's be honest i know there are believers or their followers will always come and will defend it forget about whatever forget about what i'm saying whatever ask yourself does your pastor have the right to just say something that is not actually biblically bad the bible is supposed to be the standard not your pastor cannot start to change things and see what's not in the bible like i said you know i made a video also i said that this generation is already showing people what is to come people are beginning to you know be confident and bold when i say bold not bold you know have the you know the the boldness to come up and say no pastor that way you talk no correct people are beginning to realize that they too can speak and they can spare you know share their own opinions about you know whatever a pastor is saying up there because they have the bible and the bible is the guide and people are refusing to be misled and like i've said in some of my videos this generation is nothing our father's generation our mother's generation they don't ask questions everything pastors they said uh, you know they took it whatever way they said it but this generation begin to show that people are a wiser people are like uh, was a biblically more knowledgeable people are picking up the bible and reading if people have come far from that generation then imagine the next generation how it's going to be it will not remain the same forever so at the end of the day if any pastor is going to say something they should make sure that they are speaking from the bible not just something from their own you know the top of their own heads i think i'll leave today's video here as always whatever your opinions are feel free to leave them in the comment section below and with that i'm going to say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye